We out here in San Fran. You're looking at a soon to be a 52 block teacher on his way to certify. We did some moving around and um, there's a lot of realizations that come when you move with you know anybody that knows something. I don't care what it is, what a mechanic, carpenter, whatever. And you, you know believe you on that path and then you see somebody else there's certain things that you have to learn about your game which is correct like we all I did it you know fighting and then meeting Wilson <laughs> and they just pushing me on the ground with my skull I'm <laughs> saying thinking I had balance and it, it wasn't true so um what, what what was some of your realizations after you moved, moved uh, around basically uh you know really saying that uh you know on the, working with a dummy, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, that doesn't move, you know, it's like totally different, man, you know. I mean, like, you know, I've learned a lot, you know, far as, uh, you know, the techniques with the, the shapes and stuff like that, but far as, you know, dealing with a real live person, it's, mm -hmm. it's a major it's a difference, major you know. Difference. And then, like, you know, I, I'm able to see my flaws, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, basically, Basically, I, I I realized I need to like start from the top. You know what I'm saying? Like just you the know, fundamentals. The type. fundamentals because teaching myself, you know, um, it's cool to get me beyond where I was at. You know, as far as just a regular street fighter and stuff like that. But once you uh, really try to go off into being around professionals and stuff like that, you're gonna have to step it up. For as you know, knowing yes. all the fundamentals and stuff. I mean, because the average person might not see the openness that you have. You know yes. what I'm saying? But you expose a lot of my openings, man. <laughs> so I know most definitely I got to, you know, tighten it up. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, even with uh, the techniques of shortening punches and stuff like that. You know, so I mean, like, you know, my my question is, you know, uh, just, you know, for a person who doesn't have, you know, uh, a partner that they can practice with, or you know, like, it's like, how can you really, you know, up your level? Up you your see level. what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm really learning that. You know, um, I, I, I brought myself from watching your videos, your DVDs, you know, uh, and not just that, but just boxing, period, you know, trying to learn techniques. I brought myself from a, a, a lower level to, to a, a decent high, level, yes. but I'm, I'm like stagnant in, in where yes. I'm at now because not having nobody to train with and to somebody that might be level. better than me, yes. you know, on a regular, you know, I, I, that's really needful, I'm saying. Well, that, that's a good question and it's something that has to be... Um, you know, you have to take that into consideration that videos are good, I love YouTube, I love DVDs, I love books, I love all that good stuff, that's all good information that brings you to one level of the cliff, and then there's another level of the cliff, and you need somebody to kind of throw you a rope <laughs> down, because you need a, meaning you need a partner to get up that cliff. That cliff is not gonna be um, climbed by yourself. You know, you need a partner, and we all come to that thing, but, what things can we do before we get to that clip? We can um, condition our bodies. Like you know, when I, you know, when I met Earl, he was bigger. You, 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 you don't even know <laughs> the change. I see the change. Right. Meaning there are things changing to him for the good that 52 is already helping. That gets you to that cliff, which is your conditioning has to be right. good. You know, you got to have. You know, you look in the mirror. If your stomach is hanging over your belt, you can't really say you love yourself. That's right. like a false lie, right. you know, and we got to get used to really being able to look in the mirror and say, yo, I love myself. And a lot of that comes from your appearance. So working out helps that. And then there's also shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is important to do when you don't have somebody because you have to mentally believe there's someone there. Right. And that's a shadow boxing wrong that a lot of people do. Right. You know, that, that's good. You know, if you jump and rope and you moving, you got the cardio going right, on. Right. You don't have to make shadow boxing extreme cardio. It should be extreme cardio to your mind because when you shadow boxing, what you're seeing is like, you know, I'm fighting the orthodox. Oh, right. you just pitched that right hand at me and I jumped in. So I'm triggering my mind to react on those, you know, on those telltale signs. So that when it's real, my mind reacts. Right. Because if your mind stops, then your body stops. And a lot of people see that. They train to this level, then they get in the fight, and whatever they train doesn't come come due because you haven't pushed your mind to believe to go through. And so that's one level. Of course, the next level is sparring. You have to get decent sparring. So when you see, and it's not even sparring that you think. You don't have to have someone trying to bust your head open. All you have to do is have somebody train your eyes. Right, right, right. So a good training method right now, put on one glove just for the jab. You, know, you can do this with a partner 
He puts on one glove just for his jab hand. Give me some jabs. So all I'm trying to work on is my eyes. And what I don't want is this. Go. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's a bad habit that can lead to ruin. So you can just, and I know he's going to touch me with it, but he ain't going to kill me so I can right. push my head towards it, see what it feels like to have a jab go past me right. and be inside. That's something there that, you know, a small thing that is a sparring trick that you can work on with your par partner without actually having to be, you know, beating the living snot out of each other. And, see, uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing I, I, I've, like, struggled with trying to find somebody yeah. that I feel like, I'm not in there to try to like, you know, bang and fight with you. I just want to really learn from, you know, being the experience, you know yes. what I'm saying? Like, and like, it's hard to find a mature person that's not going to try to take your head off while you're trying to learn. <laughs> you're not trying to go all the way in on them, but they trying to go yes. all the way in on you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, so, sparring is a funny thing because a lot of people try to use sparring as a disguise to really face you. Right, right. You know, so you have to watch out for those guys. Watch out for those guys that are trying to trick fight you but using sparring so that way you don't unleash the dragon. They keep you at a 50% level. Right, right. You know, it's something my teacher used to tell me <laughs> when we were sparring and the sparring got you. I was like, listen, no muscle up on me. You want to fight? Right. Like, we can forget this <laughs> right, bullshit right. right now and Go just straight get straight to, to the fight. Yeah, yeah. Fuckers we playing for. <laughs> you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So same thing here. It's like you, you want to avoid that. You want to find sparring partners that are only interested in learning. Mm -hmm. Him learning, you learning, and then you will learn to together and as y'all learn you'll see the sparring to go up to 100 miles per hour because that's just what competitive nature right, does right, right. you don't have to force that we can start off at zero but you know we've been doing this for a minute next you know we got 80 miles per hour punches right. and everybody's safe you know so that's how you ball it into the the thing that makes it work is that there's definitely li definitely certain levels and there are levels that can't be transcended by yourself right as much as we want to believe we all have a in the Bruce Lee or in the Mushashi, you know, that self-trained thing. It's cool, but it's not real. Right. You know, you have to, have to find a teacher that's credible in the art that you're looking to learn.